Just so the two SRVs can pass the side by side. You figure if you're gonna have a colony on another planet, obviously on a non-atmospheric planet like a black game like this, it's gonna have to be underground for protection against meteorites and stuff like that. Unless a big one hits, in which case you're totally screwed anyway. God, what am I doing wrong? Like I'm. I heard some scratching sounds. Yeah, that. That's me solving a Rubik's cube. And apparently doing poorly. I'm not quite sure how I'm messing up this bad and not noticing it. It's actually pressing. Like holy crap. My goal is to attempt to solve it before I found this planet, and I could have done that, but I, I keep messing up. Holy shit. Pain, suffering, leads to the dark side. Okay, done. And now I can scan. <laughs> Holy shit. I got it! Sorry for all the clicking. It's fine. Alright. Yeah, I'm beelining. At the moment, I'm scanning a water world, but... Huh? I'm not sure it's a smart idea, but I'm beelining to waypoint 10 first, or um, maybe when I get to here, I'll beeline to waypoint 11. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yeah. <coughs> right, yeah. Alright, let me check to see if this is a... Terraformal? Nope. Damn. Oh well. It's non terraformable water world undiscovered. What is that? How much is that? One million bucks plus. Non terraformable? Oh, non terraformable. Oh, you no, know I'm not sure about that. Isn't non terraformable like. What? 200,000? Total? So wish you could make more money uh, exploring.
Who's currently at the waypoint right now? I am Well, we're not yeah. exactly at the waypoint. We're like, uh, kind of, uh, a little bit off. We're on a plateau overlooking the waypoint. <coughs> mm. Well, I mean, like, at the system, at least. Looks like I'm a bones here. Put a link in uh, off topic. I think that's the payouts for um, the various exploration data. This XML file does not appear to have any style information associated no. with it. No, delete. No good. Damn it. Ooh, wow, lots of stars. I just posted it in off topic <clears throat> payouts. Terraformable rocky bodies first discovery is uh, 181,000. I think that's the lowest of the six figures. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's not first discovery, I think. That's without first discovery. Terraformable water world is uh, 694,000. Oh, without is 301,000 non-terraformable.
I come back and we look like a bunch of choir people just sitting around and waiting for something to happen. to go yeah <laughs> no man my christmas tree is just bouncing back and forth weird the christmas tree yeah my bobblehead ah okay it's not a Christmas tree, it's actually a party tree. Maybe it's picking up seismic activity on the planet or something. Mm-hmm. Any minute now, this entire uh, cliff is gonna just fall apart. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> I hope we're far enough away from the edge. So the crumbling doesn't reach us. Well, we seem to be. Ragnar, I think we've chosen a, per a great spot for the meetup. Definitely a good spot. Actually fine. I look at uh oh, there goes the clipper again. I think me and the orca needs to back back off of it. frame per second is going down to like 8, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everything looked fine until this latest update uh, upgraded the terrain and that's what murdered the frame rate. Go figure. Solid state drives, yeah, they're nice. <coughs> I would personally go for Samsung Western Digital or uh, what's the other one? 
Um, let's see, Seagate. They're pretty good. They might have gone down in quality, yeah. <laughs> We've got a clipper on its side hey here. Hey, what's up? Not much. It's in that lave. Oh, got oh a shit. On its side. Get some Levian brandy while you're there. I should. Mm -hmm. I've got four tons of that stuff in my hold right now. Oh. Oh, Resender, by the way, thanks for the follow on my Twitch channel. I only no, see no that now. Sixty-two more drops. calling me while I'm in the middle of streaming. Okay guys, it's like, um, I don't know, a little over 15 minutes, are we going to organize a mass jump or are we going to wait for more people to show up? Well, we can wait for more people to show up, that's no problem there. I think let's give it give it the 15 minutes that's left and then I'd be closer to, uh, to 4 o'clock we can yeah. and uh, do that. We can maybe start looking for a system so long to jump to. Um, Upilot's uh, GIW 
B17-0, it's the first one that's 3.19 light years. It's just above the horizon. How about that okay. one? Okay. Ah, it's right in front of me. Yeah, exactly. GI-W, B17-0, 3.19 light years away. Just above the horizon. Boom. All right, that sounds like a good, good spot to jump to. Check the gal map here. Oh. Oh, it says right next door, yeah. He just jumped there, actually. Anybody else nearby? Resender is 2,800 light years out. Yeah. Gary is 4,900. Not bad. Yeah. King is right next to uh, Colonia. <laughs> yeah, I I would not fly back to Colonia right now. If my ship exploded while on the way to Beagle Point, I would just rage quit and just go back to the bubble. Just in World yeah. 2, yeah. And I'll hey, go on that one. That's, that's, a, that's a nice little backup, yeah. In case that happens. Oh, I really hope they. Have I want to join it anyway. I hope they have a mega ship, and I hope they it's mining centric because that'll be so cool. Yeah. So, they everybody, there's a mining ship and metallic rings. Yeah. Everybody scouting up metallic rings. And just ripping them apart with mining lasers, bringing the stuff, bringing them home the bacon, so to speak. Yeah, that definitely would be would be great. Ishimura. This meetup is actually a very good stress test for my streaming to see how it does. And at this point in time, I don't know if my if if every if, if it's gonna hold. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Alright, and you? Yeah, not bad. It's been a while since I've made the meetup, but I caned it last night and this morning, and uh, I'm just outside the uh, planet. Hopefully, the right one. Yeah, planet one. Yeah, well, it's the only landable planet in the system, as far as uh, I'm aware. Yeah, I think the moons as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. Guys, there was some talk uh, just about 10 minutes ago about the date of the next meetup. It is actually next weekend. Was somebody thinking it was two weeks away? Yeah, I think yeah that was me, but I. I think Gary was also uh, questioning uh, that when was the meetup because and whether or not he could uh, come here or just go there or make it or what not. Yes. Yeah, right, so uh, is, is, is it going to be one week or is it going to be two weeks? There's a two. According to I, the original sheet, the next meetup is at Waypoint Eleven is next weekend, the thirty first of March, and then there's a two week break. To allow people across the abyss, oh, and the next, okay. and then, and so there's a two-week break after next week. Okay. okay. Yeah. But that's a two-week break with homework, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's homework? Well, you still have, you still have to do the distance. You don't you don't you haven't got a week off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Or when you lose the week. When you reach the waypoint, questions will be asked. <laughs> oh, Zika might be. He's online. Well, I arrived at the previous waypoint like um, last night, so just a bit behind.
All right. Oh, wow. I joined the, the instance with everyone. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't seem to happen too often, does it? Yeah. <laughs> I should be right back. I'm going to get myself a coffee. Can um, someone please send me a wing invite? Fauna in game. Uh, who's this? Sorry? Fauna. Who? Don't know if I have you as a friend. Though. There are. Oh, who's, in, who's in my. Uh, Ragnar's there. Okay. Tom's Galaxy. Oh, Atomic Fury. Invite sent. Yeah. Uh, I can send Cheers. you an invite. Up. Got one, thanks. Oh, cool. Are you guys on the on the day side or the night side? Day side. Yeah. Day side. I think we're tidally locked, aren't we? We're also on our plateau overlooking the um, the original media point. So we're not exactly at the media point. We're slightly off of it. Okay. Um, There's Plata, an SPX you... on his back as well. Oh, wait, I think I've got it. It's okay. I've got, I think I've got a wing beacon. It's over there. I sent you a wing invite. To, uh, did you get it? I, I'm in a wing. It's okay for now. Oh, okay. And now we have an orca on its back. <laughs> Yeah, they're not satisfied enough by having just super crews abrade the paint jobs. No, they gotta make it worse. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's gonna look like you've been out into the to the black. <laughs> oh, yeah. And at least have some fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get some coffee, I'll be back. Alright. Three people coming in at the same time. Oh, IG warning. Speaking of IG, uh, we got any 9 plus G planets uh, planned? Um, not that I'm aware of. Um, there might be something on the uh, on the beat. Um, there's a 2.7 G1 at um, waypoint 19. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm tempted not to turn up there.
and I'm down. Hey guys. Welcome. If you can't see me, I'm waving. I know. <laughs> Doesn't work. We're waving back. <laughs> Anyone um, sunbathing? Nice. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a clipper and aspects and the orca sunbathing a bit, heating up the, the bottoms, you know. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Everyone still have their SRVs. Don't know about the rest, but I do still have mine. Yep. I haven't used mine for a while, so I've still got it, yeah. Full compliment. Very lucky I've still got it actually after the last meetup I attended. <laughs> mm -hmm. 1% hole, at least twice. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket. I'm surprised more of them didn't explode. Yeah. Something wrong with that um, ship. Is that a... Um... <laughs> That shit trying to land on its thrusters. What 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 make is that? Is that a um Beluga? No, it's not a nice paint job. Alrighty. So I am two hundred eighty four jumps from my twenty thousand light year plot. And a little bit over 20,000 light years total from uh, waypoint 10, and I still need to get to waypoint 11. So, what we're gonna do is a few things here. One, does anybody have access to a large ship with multiple seats that I might be able to join and, and see you guys all do stuff? I have a um, spare seat. Um... Can I solicit that from you? Sure, yeah. Um, I'll, right. I'll, I'll leave the wing I'm in. Um, let me just uh, sort that out. I'm I also need in a little PBX. So Sorry. I only have one seat. Alright, WDX sent me a multi crew invite. Okay, fine. Uh, I won't talk then. It's all good. All right, I just wanted to be here while we're uh, doing stuff. I want to see what the waypoint's like. I've never been there before. It's uh, red. Is it? And um, there's a little oh, green so patch. Cute. Ancient relic. Didn't know this was here. Whoops. Shoot it. This would have been a good site for uh, doing some uh, SRV racing. If, if we could have set up some waypoints with uh, ships Don't break the relic. driven around them. Bit, bit late now, maybe. WDX, can I ask what your um, what your face is? Yeah, <laughs> I just try to maximize the ugliness of it. So yeah, I think you did pretty well. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, you don't have any. You don't have any uh, shoots. Nope. Ooh. 
a very nice Oops. place. Do you actually mean to shoot you then, WDX? That's fine. I was aiming above you, but I hit your shield. Don't break and don't take the relic, by the way. Uh, there's someone requesting a wing invite in uh, Discord. I'm on it. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That looks painful. Well? WGX trying to rotate his ship into the ground. Uh, it's fine. There Said the man driving a paper ship. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, I'm putting my extra pip on systems just for him. <laughs> How come the ancient relic's now on the floor? Someone knocked it over. <laughs> I thought it'd be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, they just respawn. Oh, okay, fair enough. Ouch. <laughs> the crunch then. Apparently everything on your modules is grayed out except your cockpit canopy. Uh, why do I have access to like deactivate your cockpit canopy? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I think we ought to do that. <laughs> it can't deactivate it apparently. It's still read it out. But yeah, I, I um, hey guys, if I can just say with the SRVs, please switch off the lights, maybe, um, so we don't, so we can. Otherwise, the frame drops go very low. You think you're on Mars? It's flashing oh, in there. Okay. That's a Victor voice. The strange thing is, um, in the in the timeline that this game plays off, Mars doesn't probably even look like this anymore. Hmm. Who's the SRV that just rolled up to uh, the upside down cover? The two SRVs. One is me. One, the other one is flying in the air. I can't see who it is. Ooh, that sounds nice. That's Atomic Fury. Hello, yep. Atomic Fury. It's also really fast. Oh. How fast? I'm not looking at it. I 630. Jeez. It's a bit higher than that. Oops. Wow, this is very agile for a, such a large ship. Jeez. Yep. I mean, that's why I took it. I want to take a fast ship. It doesn't have that much of a great jump range, but therefore it's fast and fun to fly. Flight assist? Off. Oh. RV Door the Explorer. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Tried to write a little accident. Didn't work. A little accident with the SRVs there. I'm seeing the SRVs going around and then they stop and then they go. SRV gymnastics. Yeah. We should try and get as many SRVs all together just to do like a giant SRV pileup. <laughs> I see I see a bunch of SRVs exploding in the process. We can do it right next to Colonia on our way back. As long as we don't jump ships, it's fine. That, that was yeah, it, well, if we got everyone to leave, the, get the ships out of there, and we just had SRVs. Oops, that looks like it hurt. Ooh, bumper <laughs> cars. <laughs> Not quite as planned. <laughs> oh man, this frame rate is terrible. Yeah. I'm at 105. Mine's fine, I can't see what it is, but actually. I'm at 105 on a multi cruise, so. What, 60? I think. Oh, yes, and it's telling me I'm oh. dropping frames like it's. Um, a New Year's Eve party or something. Alright, so how do I commit a crime in multi-crew when I don't have any weapons and the only thing I can do is move a pip around? Drop your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Bash 
connection to somebody. And this is how the clipper stalks its prey by lying on its back and letting <laughs> it jump onto its belly. To get yeah, don't jump on its belly. Oh, another thing you can <laughs> front, just like what I did. Have a bunch of illegal stuff on board. Oh, they well, really I want to know what these two SRVs are doing to each other. No, we in the <coughs> cockpit of that ship. Hello, Alex. How are you doing? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to back off of my camera movement. OBS just told me it's going on overload. We might have 10 or 11 signatures here on my radar anyway. <clears throat> I think 10. It's a trap. Yeah, 10. I'm not sure if it's a picture. If I look at the clipper, my well. frame rate drops to 30. Well, I could turn off the engine if you wanted. <laughs> I think turning off your shields to fix my frame rate. I'm not sure about your shields, your ship though. <laughs> Ouch. That's a roll. Yeah, so please don't get too close to the clipper because you might roll right onto you and crunch. Crunch you like a worm. It's fine. Would you like to see him crushing this RV like a worm? I, I would. <clears throat> come, come do it. It's really bad. It's okay. Nobody there. will die. Boom. <laughs> No, but they leave a flattened SRV at home. That's exactly <laughs> what I did last weekend. <laughs> Four times. I, told, in a I row. can make myself more of a ramp. Okay, this fighter I'm gonna save, and then 30 seconds later, boom. <laughs> yeah. I, I, we have a clip of it too. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, I gotta go look at that again. It just, oh god. Hold on. <laughs> that, that during the, uh, the PCM uh, games that we had, it was a limbo, a gravity limbo. Yeah. And we also had an SRV demolition derby, which I won, but they, mm. never, they never got it on tape. Hello. Damn. Hello, hello. Just okay. after our SRV demolition derby, the two uh, ships that were a Diamondback Explorer and a Viper Mark III, they both took their turns using their own noses to ram my SRV splat into the ground until I blew up. And they still didn't get that on video. Oh, I was so disappointed. That would have been the best to get on video. Well, you can try it now. It will definitely be on video now. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, rather... and uh, <laughs> Anaconda appeared right inside the clipper. Inside? No, behind. Yeah. Oh, boy. I see that. <laughs> Not inside. <laughs> I bet the the pilot, the commander in the anaconda is like, what is this? <laughs> Got a clipper ass in my face. Yo, what the <laughs> <laughs> and this is how aligned ships are born. <laughs> uh, more like clippers and anacondas. <laughs> I hope it's colorful. The 11 signatures so far. For some reason, I couldn't. <laughs> well, you know what I need to do? I need to update the next waypoint. Okay, so. That might so be a great idea. We are currently at. Waypoint 10, correct? So we're going to waypoint 11. Uh, call Thea BA AE0. Yep, that's the one we're going to next. Bingo. Planet A1A. 74 by 141.4. If I'm not mistaken, this gives us two weeks to get there. Now, I. Hold on, let me. No. No. Um, that's the way I read it as well. That's the one I told me. That. That's not right. Okay. 
It's one week because if you look at the date scheduled, that's next week. So the yeah. two weeks means from waypoint 11 on, it's two weeks to cross to cross the abyss or to the next waypoint. That's what I understand. Okay. That's what I yes. heard too. Apparently, the two week gap is of uh, next week, not this week. Yes, that is correct. Confused the living daylights out of me when I saw that. That almost fell off. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do donuts. Much safer. I wish multi tool would allow us to do multi tool. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been awesome. And the fighter at the same time. Yeah, but then the question remains, if you crash the SUV or the fight of somebody else, how do you pay back that? Where's Palladium? Oh yeah, what happens if... What happens if two of you are in a SRV? And both of you go out and the ship goes up and then one of you blows up. Do you get put back in the ship or... Yeah, in orbit? Yeah, would get uh, stuck back in the ship to... <clears throat> First thing I thought of with that anaconda is why is it sniffing the um <laughs> Because it likes it man. He's a dog. He's sniffing his ass. It's a way of saying hello. <laughs> you know this um this clipper with all the um SRVs around it, it looks like a bunch of ants trying to take down the clipper. Yeah. From from the viewpoint that I'm looking at. <clears throat> oh, I'm only getting three frames per second. This is ridiculous. I'm not even. The, clip, the clipper is belly up, so they are succeeding. And here, oh, really? Logistic SRV <laughs> colony trying to disassemble its prey, the Imperial Clipper. <laughs> but what they don't know is that this is the clipper's way of luring them into its trap. <laughs> Narrated by Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> Anyone here can do his voice? Female polar bear. Ooh, I have lost my SRV. <laughs> this area should be teeming with wildlife at this particular time of year, but due to the drought, it is not. It is barren as a brick. Nice <laughs> try. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> um, listen, guys, it's already. Just this one. Just this one. Years of working in a nuclear power plant have rendered me as impotent as the Nevada State Boxing Commission. No, I don't know what that is. Excellent. Simpsons? Bingo, Montgomery Burns. Yeah. <laughs> I know this ship like the back of my hand. Bang. I, I've just lost an SRV, so oh, I'm gonna be uh, you occasionally you slam your hands on the, on the ground. And solo tonk, bashing his head over an overhead. Uh, Compartment. Nope. No? Montgomery Scott Star Trek V. Oh, okay. I think Han Solo did the same thing in, in a Star Wars episode. If I'm not mistaken. But yes, uh, Montgomery Scott did that. Clang. He bashes his head. Ow. Directly after he said that he knew the ship like the back of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest moment in Star Trek. Ooh, this, uh. Yeah. The 3.9 light year star is going below the horizon. Well, granted, we are in equator, so if we're gonna launch, we're gonna launch soon. Otherwise, it's gonna. Be yeah, I was just thinking that now. We're, probably, we're already 15 minutes. I'm um, already quarter yeah, past. Let's, let's, let's do that. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm not going to get to the wing point anytime soon because I just, you know, discovered the water world that's 180,000 light seconds away. <laughs> Skip it. You think you're from 180k? That's like 20 minutes. Where's my ship? Let's do this. Alright, so we're gonna do the, do the launch. At EDSM distance. King Inferno and WDX. Let's see what the distance is. I'm 24,011.33 light years away from you guys. Oh, I'd be here in no How far? Sorry? 24,011.33 light years. 
Oh no, what happened? Did you go back to the start? I went... I flew all the way back to Jax, and I'm on my way back now, yeah. Ouch. No, it's a long way to go. I, I needed to fix up my power plant, fix up a few things, and I restocked my um, vehicles. Okay. And got more of them. So now I have a maximum of 16 fighters instead of 6, and 4 SRVs instead of 2. 16 fighters? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, you definitely need that. After my dump of four of them last week, <laughs> I feel it to be necessary. Have... Alright guys, let's get out in space and let's do a mass. Yeah. If you go up high enough, Ragnar, you can you can actually jump it, because I'm I'm ten case now and I think I might just be high enough. Yeah, ten case is just over just over ten case and you can still jump to it. That is the coolest looking thing. I'm not gonna lie. The corkscrew of smoke. It's fucking lit. Missed that I think. Oh, from the clipper, yeah, I saw it on the, on the yeah. way up. So what's the target star? Uh, we could do closest if you want. Um, the star is, um, let me just... GI dash. So, well, the first. B17 0. Yeah, it's the first one on the list. <coughs> yeah. 3.9 light years. 3.19. 3 light years. Okay. Who's leading the um, jump? As in, what ship should I. Uh, not me. I'm gonna move back a bit I'm so that I can still. catch. Uh, uh, fine, once she's over. WDX, maybe? That's, that's a ship that... Hmm? Uh, I'm actually moving back because I want to I wanna record you guys um, doing the jump off. We get grouped together like a German virgin, nice and tight, okay? Yeah, yeah but tight to who? <laughs> So you want to pick a ship? I'll, I'll, I'll go for the most obvious one in the lot, WDX. Okay. Okay. Alright, um, as soon as everybody's ready, um, and whoever's going to do, do a countdown, Alright, um, um, maybe charger if it, oh, uh, charger if it, if it's these apps are so long. Yeah, spooled up, ready to go. Almost. Yeah, I'm just waiting for mine to boot up, because I seem to have disabled it. Okay, I am ready. Ready. Almost ready. 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 <clears throat> Alright, everybody ready? Yeah. Starting count. Ready? Ten. Nine. What? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Boost! Go, go, go! Uh, hole damage. Well, heat damage, rather. Oh, I cut off. <sighs> Alright, that was a pretty cool uh, jump off. It's fun, that's cool.
There are fireflies around the little light. Stay away from the light, guys. <laughs> uh, that's not a little light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Stay away from the light, the big light, then. A giant Don't go into the light. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to get scientifically correct. <laughs> so who's um, logging and who's going to go on a bit of a, bit of a exploration? Are you? Who wants to wing up? I'm going on to the next waypoint, actually. But I'm going to take a roundabout way to get there, though. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to start heading up <laughs> to the waypoint. Angle. Go out in an angle and then get in. So it's your voice. So we're following the exact EWE route, right? So that's why we're doing so many damn things. A bit, yeah. Yeah, I saw a lot of stuff being scanned away here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a route that's a bit... Yeah. Um, so the next waypoint is waypoint 11, right? Alright, see you later, Alex. Fly safe, dude. See him. Bye. So, should, I, should I accept or decline my zero credit profit? Decline. Accept. Decline. <laughs> you will lose all rewards, fines, <laughs> and... Why didn't you just accept? Because you could have got zero credits. <laughs> now you decline zero credits and it's just complete waste of money. Right. Yeah, I could have gotten that. That was a steal too, man. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> because it's, it's actually 0.49 cents. Um, I just want to find out where I just want to make something sure. So we've worked we've said now that the, that two weeks time period that's at the end of the is for the for the time taking across the abyss but between waypoint 10 and 11 it's eight and a half thousand light years i will have to consult wishbone for that yeah so i mean i i'm not i don't know how i barely make the five thousand light years a week at this stage that seems like yeah that's right it seems like two weeks that this one yeah that's why i was that's why I was asking because the distance is eight and a half. It says two weeks, but the meetup date is next week. That might be an error. Wishblend explained it uh, just slightly earlier on today in the uh, in the in the, the Discord forum uh, that it was the two weeks refers to the two weeks from the thirty first of March. Wow. Well, okay. Um... Well, I know the numbers look the, the numbers look odd, as you say, but uh, she did confirm that if you look back just through today's uh, posts. Uh, I can't remember where she said it, just in the general, in the general chat uh, section. Okay. Just in chat. Expedition chat. Oh, Expedition not, chat. Yeah, I'm sure it was just earlier today. If, um, just looking for it because somebody else queried it earlier this morning. Well, I hope it's two weeks. <laughs> or maybe, maybe we might suggest um, <laughs> a midpoint that's four thousand odd. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not like we're, tra we're not yeah, traveling across an abyss here. It's, it's this is like the we're traveling across a arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and the next waypoint, waypoint 11, is kind of the start of, at the start of the abyss. Yeah. If, if we're going to choose a, a midway point, uh, make sure it's in a system which contains plenty of handy oniums, because that would really help out. Especially for the smaller ships that don't have the huge jump range. Yeah. Well, I think it might be Wishbend and, um, and Inferno's call, what they decided to, because uh, I'll need to consult it's, it's going to be organized. <coughs> Uh, if there's any, uh, like, secondary meetup or something like that that's not necessarily on the list, um, it, I mean, it could be called by you guys, it's up to you, the, the main waypoints is what we're really going for. If you guys want to call, like, a small little point for people to go to, well, for people to come on, then I'll probably come on too, if that's going to be like that, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would suggest just a, a star that's midway between the... You know, four thousand light years or whatever. Uh, listen, guys, I, I, point. I think we're reading the charts wrong. Our very next waypoint, yeah. Waypoint eleven. Yeah, I, I think she's made a mistake in the, uh, or I don't know, is it Wishblend that maintains the sheet, or is it uh, Inferno? 
Right, okay. Yeah, I think they've made a mistake. Because, yeah, 8,000, well, 8,500 light years to the next waypoint. Yet, we're only getting a week to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it unless I was just motoring all the way. Which means, yeah, like, same, yeah. No exploration, you know, which, which, quite frankly, I enjoy, you know. Okay. She might be able to yeah. change it. Or they might be able to change it. Let's raise it with them when they come on. Uh, Wish won't be able to come on today, so you'll have to okay. uh, talk to them in PM or something like that, or add them in the expedition chat or something. And okay. if a explanation that's easy to understand comes up, we'll see about pinning it. So people can yeah, I just had a problem the next two weeks trying to get time cause, because of Sea of Thieves, yeah. which I'm playing. <laughs> Got two weeks free. Well, yeah, our, our uh, end point is not... <coughs> perfectly set in stone necessarily if we need to move stuff around because an extremely large amount of people can't make it i i assume two weeks is what she meant to so i mean i i just suggest we all set off in the right direction and and people that can't make it maybe you know um well i don't think i'm going to be able to make 8k no uh, me neither i mean i be like i said i barely make the 5k in a week um Eight and a half yeah. a week is a, you is really, a bit, you really like, gotta like hop on Netflix and just ignore everything and keep going and going and going and it's really <laughs> yeah. depressing. You can't yeah. scan anything. Yeah, I've yeah, just done I mean, like last... nine thousand light years like last night and this morning and that was just not fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm halfway through sixty eight right now. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to go all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't do that at all. Not at all. Yeah. All right. Well, then we'll just maybe have to ask Wispin about that. Just make sure for yeah, him. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yep. All right. Um. Oh, I'm fuel skipping. Uh, it's only 196 jumps. Well, I don't know, 96 for you, Two, 228 for me. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> What's your range? Yeah. 38.5. Mm. 203 for me. That's a 42 light year. Yeah, mine's about 44 light years at range. 44.5 or something. So yeah, I, I mean, if I like, if I do Bucky Ball, Bucky Ball, and literally just stop for fuel, then I could do it. But that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, well, I kind of also want to go a different route. I, I, I want to really do that. I did the uh, beaten trail. Yeah, I once did uh, about 10k in a day in a uh, sidey. <laughs> oh wow! You insane man, Light, you. Lightweight yeah. engineered, so it was uh, 33 light years jump range. But still, I hated myself after that. <laughs> uh, that was after... find... Sorry. What? No, you're good, you're good. Sorry. You should take uh... your tools and not yourself. Yeah. Uh, I did that after I discovered my first ringed earth flag, uh, very close nice. to Sagay. Uh, so I I just went for Colonia as fast as I could. <laughs> to, to clean it, yeah. Yeah. I did that with my first... Um... Ring death light as well, I think. I oh, know my first uh, binary F like. Yeah. Mm. I first still don't my, have binary. My, my only binary F like. I still say. don't have a ring death like my name on it. I, I luckily. I, I, I found I, one earlier, but it was already tagged. Yeah, I, I found one on the way to Colonia, and then I found one on, on the way to Waypoint Three. So I, I found it, then came back. It was a ring death like orbiting a neutron star, so it was like kind of. Quite nice. Cool. Mm, nice. That's a nice phone. But I've had one Earth flight since I had a Cherus A, so it's been a bit slim pickings. Yeah. But I've um, on, I've got seven Earth three, so that's good. Yeah, I've got wow. seven as well total. Yeah, seven between uh, the bubble and and here. So I've got a lot of water worlds in my name. There's a lot in the triangle between um, Colonia and Waypoint Ten. That's the route. That I just took back all the way back to uh, Colonia. There's a lot there. There's a lot of water worlds. 
I got a lot of money from that trip. So I've been trying to find this star that's just under 20,000 light years away, but it's still in between, kind of linear to, uh, what's it called? Uh, waypoint 11. Okay. Whew. It is very hard to find a star that is very close to 20,000 and not over 20,000. Can I just say after first the off to the uh first scan bam high metal content terraformable atmosphere water awesome very nice very nice yeah yeah that's something mm. I still don't understand how can it be in a, a water atmosphere is it that just water? lots of clouds temperature water, over 100 water, degrees water, basically because it's 800 degrees that's why it's got to be vapor yeah it's probably vapor yeah yeah so water can be a gas, a solid, and a liquid, I guess. I think 800 is over its triple point. Over its critical point. <laughs> so at that temperature, it's neither a liquid nor a gas. All right, to my 20,000 light year halfway point of a 36,000 light year uh, journey, I have 342 jumps to go. Nice. Good luck. What's that, about five hours, four hours? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, um, I'll see you, at, see you guys at the next waypoint. Um, right. Safe travels. Wherever it might be. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Yep. See you. Yeah, I'm signing off too. So, see you on the next one. See you too. I think the only couple things still can be going is the one that I'm supposed to be leading the expedition, and that I really like flying fighters around people's heads. You can you can lead from the rear, you know. You don't get huh? good reputation, but you can lead from the rear. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I just I, I was just joking about leading from the rear. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys at some point. I got your packs back here. Yeah. I'm watching for Thargoids. It's all good. My ship's getting a good, uh, good beating on it. So I've set like a thousand light year route obliquely to our course so that I can hopefully find some virgin worlds. That'd be nice. Should be tons. Obviously it's a whole, it's, this is the whole arm. It's a bit similar to the arm that Sol's in, so should be lots of stuff. I wonder how much money I'd make if I went economy for 20,000 light years oh. and scanned everybody. <laughs> I, I've done quite a few expeditions where I've done eco economy routes for like a thousand light years at a time. It's been interesting. You get a lot of money from that. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if, if you're not in a rush, it's, it's great. I mean, I used to do a lot of stuff, just bouncing around areas, just scanning whole sectors almost, not whole sectors, but you know, a whole hundred cubed volume of stars, that kind of hundred light year cubed volume of stars, that kind of stuff. So it can be fun. If you're not particularly going anywhere. Yeah, I think my uh, 339 jumps that are current right now for 20,000 going to economy plus scanning every single body would probably pull the soul out of me, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. No, you'd never make it. It'd take you forever. Yeah. Real space man while sitting at a desktop computer. They're coming to take you away to the sunny side. 
Ragnar, you're still really quiet despite the fact I've got you on 200% volume. No, Same here. Put the mic up again. Sorry about that. I'm going to write to uh, Discord and ask them for a 400% boost. I'm gonna do this while watching The Office, so I'll see you guys later. U.S. Office. In a couple hours, huh? The, the U.S. one or the U.K. one? The U.S. one. I've watched all ten seasons before, and I love it. Yeah, I think I've seen a bit of one. I'm a purist, you see. I'm I'm only into the U.K. Mm. Office. <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm only joking. Don't worry. <laughs> Next year, April the 11th, the expense is coming up. Can't wait for that. Yeah, snap. Yeah, same here. Although, it might take a bit longer for it to come on to uh, Netflix. What, the uh, Office UK? No, uh, the ex new the season of the, ex the Expanse. Oh, I really need to go see that. Everyone keeps on telling me about it, and then I go on to, like, somewhere to find it, and <laughs> nope. It's on Netflix, on. I think. But it might not be in Netflix in the US. I can check it. Let's see. The Expanse. But it's well worth reading the books, though. Could have said, you know, the books are great. I have, admittedly, I have not read the books. Yeah. I, I'm like a book ahead, or like two books ahead of the series, I think. I'm trying to do a book a year. Yeah, acquired by Netflix for global distribution. Netflix acquired sci-fi space drama The Expanse as an original series internationally. Season 1 will be available to the stream for Netflix users outside of North America and New Zealand beginning November 3rd. That was in 2016, so yeah, I think it's on Netflix. Did you At say least for outside, outside North America. America. Yeah, and New Zealand. So it might be a separate thing for the United States. Yeah, so so Star Trek Discovery is on Netflix in the UK, but it's not on Netflix really? in the US. That's it's pretty in, stupid. It's in Belgium as well. On... I don't know. Star Trek Discovery is pretty good. In my yeah, opinion. I like. I, I really liked it. It's good. Um, my opinion still out on it. Well, I mean, if you, if you ignore a bit you about the kind of original series, break breaking of some of the kind of rules of Star Trek. Yeah, yeah if you no, ignore still, some of that. If you it, look at it as a storyline that adds on to it, not as another Star Trek series, basically. Yeah. But, not yet, at least. Season 2 uh, is my yeah. from, back into my, it. To give you one from, uh, we saw the Enterprise at the very last moment of the yes. Discovery. The Discovery is larger than the Enterprise. That might, that might just have been um, scale. It, no, 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 no. I've seen. Um, I follow a YouTube channel, uh, Track Yards, who, who have who use the 3D models, and Discovery is slightly lar is, no, is larger than than the model for the end for the Constitution class, and the Constitution class, according to TOS, is was at that time the largest Starfleet vessel. Oh. This is also a secret Starfleet vessel that your, uh, a lot of people didn't even know about, and this is also during Pike's. Uh, Thing. So this is the original Enterprise as well, so. It's during Pike, right? Yeah, it's during Pike. It's like, yeah, what, it's 20 years before Pike. something like that? Yeah. It's 10 years before the original series, and it was supposed to focus on an event that's been discussed in one episode of the original series, but has mostly been forgotten. Fair enough. Well, you know, I just ignore most of that stuff, to be honest. Yeah, I, I need to go back and uh, watch for the first time the original series, too. So. I feel like we're losing people. But yeah, I'm gonna go watch The Office. It's gonna be great. See you guys in a little <laughs> while. Maybe that's on Netflix too. We ought it to is. watch that. 
I, could, I couldn't no. stand to watch the original office. It, it, the original office, UK office, isn't really like kind of laugh out loud humor. It's kind of a lot of cringy kind of, oh my God. Yeah, well, <laughs> kind of stuff. that's the way this is too, but they do it in a way that you, it's so blatantly in your face that it, 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 it pulls emotion from you and then right in the next moment it just drops it stupidly dead. Oh, Which, yeah. um, I mean, it drops it dead with dead humor, which is the funny part. It's someone trying to be cool in the office. It's not someone making bad jokes and then everyone cringing at it. It's like the UK is. I watched the first episode and the uncanniness of the first episodes of both shows is funny. It's so stupid. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean... When, when exactly you do UK to US exports, they usually don't work if they just copy the UK format. It... Yes. Uh, there was supposed to be a TV show back in the 80s that started copying off of uh, Doctor Who. That fucking busted. Mm. It did. It died before it got on TV. Oh. And there was a, uh, you could find it somewhere, but it was trash. There was a pilot for Red Dwarf as well, a US version of Red Dwarf. Oh, psh, fuck. That's, that's really bad. How would they even do, do that? that? Like, how would, yeah, yeah, the whole thing is... Yeah, I mean, I think, I, think, I think that's why there was only a pilot. <laughs> well, yeah. The original really Battlestar Galactica seasons? was cancelled because they found... They said it looked too much like Star Wars. <laughs> I thought it would be good if it cost too much You could see that, yeah. Space 1999. Oh, God, Space 1999. The English, the first <laughs> season is the British, and the second season is American. Like, that was Martin Landau, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like with Moonbase Alpha, where the nuclear explosion moved the moon out of mo or orbit or something yeah, like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you eventually get like an atmosphere and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that... Um, it was like a whole the... Star Trek thing. It on felt like Star Trek. On the 13th of the... Sem no, it was the 13th of September 1999, and the show that the uh, nuclear dump on the moon exploded, causing it to yes. be ripped out of... On the actual date, the 13th of September 1999, there was a convention, and they basically had some actors from uh, the original series, and they did a voice recording, so they retconned that the message that they received at the beginning from that, that led up, right, they were training those astronauts to go on that long deep space mission was actually... <laughs> Transmission from Moon Base Alpha that they had to abandon the Moon Base and land on the planet because they couldn't attain, they couldn't maintain the Moon Base anymore. Well, mind uh, having a bit of watch of that again, you know. I, I did see a few episodes on TV years ago, maybe, maybe like the early 90s, late 80s. Um... They even had a chick pointed ears and she looked uh, and uh, eyebrows. She looked almost like a ripoff of the Vulcans from Star Trek. And she was supposedly a shapeshifter or something? Yeah, she shapeshifted. That was the second season. That was a series that they, that they made in Amer in America. But you had an Irish cowboy for some bizarre reason. <laughs> it was still good, at least. The ones that I watched when I was younger, I, I liked the episodes. They were all right. It was entertaining for what they had. Toys made out of those eagles for sale? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and there's uh, model frames. Like, yeah, yeah. I think some of uh, other 